It seems like just yesterday that Hurricane Harvey struck the Texas coast as a powerful Category 4 storm. That storm broke the all-time U.S. tropical cyclone rain record. Researchers say it dropped about 11 trillion gallons of fresh water falling from the sky. That is a lot of fresh water. And News 3's Carly Cassidy spoke with an A&M research team that's tracking that freshwater plume and its impact. So uh, as we knew there, there was a lot of suffering going on in Houston and there was people's lives are being impacted. Uh, how can I help? Dr. Steve DeMarco is the team leader of the Geochemical and Environmental Research Group at Texas A&M. That team partnered with Liquid Robotics to create the Gulf Explorer. It's a smart surfboard that collects temperature and salinity values to give water density data. Those two things, uh, we can tell a lot about how the currents are moving, how things are mixing uh, out in the ocean, how much energetics are going on. With 11 trillion gallons of fresh water flowing out of the river deltas into the Gulf of Mexico, there could be negative impacts. So you have the surface fresh water and then the saltier ocean water beneath it. When that happens, you can have a capping effect. That means dangerously low salinity, low oxygen levels, and harmful algae blooms. Our thought was that that, that could threaten the the, the, the wildlife and the, the ocean life that was at the Flower Garden Banks. The Flower Garden Banks are beautiful coral reefs about 100 miles south of Galveston. It was September 8th that we got out onto the ocean and uh, we deployed that. It was just off of Galveston, maybe 10 miles off of Galveston. They sent the Gulf Explorer to see where the fresh water ends and the ocean water begins. We, we got about 35 miles out before we started seeing the oceanic water. So it was about halfway to the Flower Garden Banks at that time. For the next 60 days, this was supposed to be the Gulf Explorer's mission, but the mission only lasted for 46. We found that the, the, that the wave glider probably was struck by a ship. So uh, at that point it became the mobilization of a rescue. And uh, we have it back in the lab right now. Uh, it looks like the damage is, uh, is, uh, is moderate to minimal. Uh, it's able to be repaired. While the wave glider is being repaired, researchers are poring over the data already collected. The freshwater plume in the Galveston region only got about 35 miles offshore. So, uh, so it didn't make it all the way out to the Flower Garden Banks. While that is good news, there's still more to be explored. How the freshwater uh, plume, once it came out of uh, Galveston, Galveston Bay, it, it turned to the right. Uh, the last that we have, the data is that it was off South Padre Island. Where that freshwater goes next is for the Gulf Explorer to find out, and hopefully soon. Every, every minute that it's back in the lab, it's not collecting data, so I, I want it to collect data, not dust in the lab. In College Station, Carly Cassidy, News 3.